All right, I frit Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. All right, we're talking Drake, man. Come on, Drizzy Drake, stop throwing the shots. I'm about to play y'all some audio of what Drake said at his recent show. And Drake's back in that mode where every night it feels as if though it has to be a spectacle, not just from, from a, a, a show standpoint. By the way, Drake's show is amazing. The spectacle has to also be in the conversations. He's got to throw a shot at somebody. And it looks like Chris Brown, Soldier Boy, and Omarion out of nowhere are the latest to receive a shot from Drizzy Jake. Check out this audio. I think you're a little tense tonight because you acting like this shit is like some Omarion, like Chris Brown, soldier shit. It's not that kind of show. I'm a turtle nigga. All right, so what does this tell us? First and foremost, Drake knows kind of what's going on in the world. We, we believe that people like him and Jay live under a box and they never know what's going on. Drake was trying to take a shot at the whole Soldier Boy Chris Brown fight. And I'm pretty sure in Drake's world, if there's ever an opportunity to take a, a shot at Chris Brown, some somebody that the two just don't get along, um, I'm pretty sure he's going to take it. And, and you want to know something? I'm going to take this a step further. Look at Drake. On the bigger and better things, um, doing great from a music standpoint. Just running the game right now, if you ask me. Um, by the way, my website releases March 1st. Comment that March 1st in the comment section and let me know that you heard this message. And you look at somebody like Chris Brown, and it looks like the brother's going backwards. That The music is still great. That, that party record he just put out with Gucci and Usher, I love it. But whoever's around this man's circle, I, I, I just don't think he's making the right moves. I just don't think he's making the right moves. You see the Lambo getting his one of his friends driving his cars, getting it totaled. Now the dude walked away from the scene. How much respect could you have for Chris Brown if you walk away from the scene and leave his car out there just to you look bad on him? People get sued over damaging the city and stuff like that. That's real life. You know, and it looks bad, bad on Chris Brown. By the way, Chris Brown had this comment. A lot of people believe that he was talking about Drizzy Drake. Some don't believe it. So check this out and tell me what you think. Was 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 Chris Brown responding? To I'm finna go mute on you niggas this year. When I pull up on you, it's going down. I'm gonna set this fight up. Won't do all that. But niggas gonna always slick talk. And they know when I'm in the same room, they chest deflated in the motherfucker. Boy, stop painting that superhero costume on before we torture you. First and foremost, I've already told y'all, take it from your kid, that fight it with Soldier Boy is dead. Don't believe that. It's dead. It's not happening. And it looks like Drake is taking shots at Chris Brown, and Chris Brown might have responded. We don't know if that was a response. He said these rappers. We'll just have to see. All right? What do you guys think about Drake responding to Chris Brown? Well, this and kind of slick this and Chris Brown and Chris Brown responding to Drake. Thank y'all for the time, love, and support that y'all show me. Um, again, my website relaunches March 1st, March 1st, March 1st, March 1st. It's MrT.com and it's incredible. It is sensational. Thank y'all for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at